Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome to Geometry. We're continuing to look at the topic of transformations, and we're now going to learn about transformation combinations, which is when we perform more than one transformation in a series. The rule for combinations and notation is if we start with our first transformation of, say, x, our second transformation of, say, y, then the notation is y, x. x is the first transformation, and y is the second transformation. Now, I have listed four transformation notations here to the right of the coordinate plane, reflection, rotation, translation, and enlargement, represented by m, r, t, and e, respectively as given in the IGCSE syllabus for 0580. So we'll use those notations in our example. In the coordinate plane we have triangle ABC. So let's say that we're going to begin with a reflection through the mirror line Y equals X. And then we're going to perform an enlargement with a scale factor of negative one-half and a center of four, two. And we'll use some color coding to represent these two different transformations. The reflection, the notation given is M. So the reflection we will reference with M and I'll use blue for the reflection. The enlargement is represented by E, and we will use E in representing the enlargement in our expression. And the object we're working with is triangle ABC. Our inner notation will be the first transformation, which is the reflection, represented by M. And our outer notation will be the second transformation, which is the enlargement, represented by E. And as a reminder, this notation indicates that we perform M first. And with that image, we will perform E. So we have E of M of triangle ABC. Let's begin with the reflection of triangle ABC. We're going to reflect through the mirror line Y equals X. Here I've plotted the mirror line, y equals x, and now we want to get the reflection of points a, b, and c, and then we can connect to create our image triangle. Recall that a reflection is defined as all points from object to image through the mirror line such that an object point and its image point are connected by the perpendicular bisector of the mirror line. Now that's a lot to say and it's more direct to do. How do we most directly approach the mirror line? From point B to begin, I can approach the mirror line by going down from x equals 2 to x equals negative 4. That's down 6. Now with the diagonal mirror line, the reflection is going to be a move, in this case, a move right of 6. From x equals negative 4 to x equals 2. And b prime is the point 2, negative 4. Now point C. Point C to the mirror line is a downward move of 10. From y equals 2 to y equals negative 8 and the mirror image will be a move right of 10 from x equals negative 8 to x equals 2 and c prime is 2 negative 8 and finally point a a to the mirror line is a horizontal move to the right of 16 from x equals negative 8 to x equals 8 and through the reflection line, we'll move down 16 from y equals 8 to y equals negative 8. And the coordinates of a prime 
are 8, negative 8. And now having identified the image points of A, B, and C, A prime, B prime, C prime, we can complete our image triangle. And here is the complete reflection of triangle ABC through the mirror line Y equals X. That was our inner transformation, M. Now with this image, let's complete the outer transformation, E, which is the enlargement. We begin by identifying the center, which is 4, 2. And now we evaluate the scale factor, K equals negative 1 half. The negative tells us that the image will be on the other side of the center from the object, and the one-half tells us that the distance from the center to an image point will be one-half of the distance from the center to the corresponding object point. In evaluating B prime, B prime to the center is a move up of 6 and right of 2. One half of that move, representing two moves right, is a further move right of one, which is half of two. And the move of six up is a move up half of six, which is three. And now we can identify B double prime. B double prime is at five, negative five. Next, C prime. C prime to the center is a move up from negative 8 to 2 on the y-axis, so an upward move of 10. And as with b prime, a move right of 2. So for the move right of 2, we'll have a move right of 1 from the center. And then for the upward move of 10, we're going to have an upward move of 5 from y equals 2 to y equals 7. And the coordinates of c double prime are 5, 7. And now we can evaluate a prime. a prime to the center is a move up from negative 8 on the y-axis to positive 2, a move up of 10. And from x equals 8 to x equals 4, a move left of 4. So we want half of each of those representing the move left of 4. We will have a move left of half of that, which is 2. And then representing the move up of 10, we'll have a move up half of that, which is 5, from y equals 2 to y equals 7. And a double prime is 2, 7. And now with the image of the image points identified, we can complete our enlargement triangle. And this triangle is the enlargement of triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, applying a scale factor of negative one half through center four two. As one final comment, note that E of M of triangle ABC does not equal m of e of triangle a, b, c. In other words, it is important to order the transformations correctly. So when you see the notation e of m of an image, that means perform the inner transformation first, in this case m, the reflection, then the outer transformation, in this case e, the enlargement. This concludes transformation combinations. In all of our lessons so far, we've started with a description and moved to the transformation. In our next lesson, we're going to look at the scenario in which we're given the object and the image, and we need to describe the transformation that was performed.